So I've been living in Shanghai these days, and you know what, sometimes the hustling, bustling nature of the city really gets to you, it's stressful, and I want to take a day trip outside of the city, you know, I want to go to a place that's nice and relaxing so I can do some meditation. So I took a train 45 minutes out here to Wuxi. I'm going to show you some of the spots around here in Wuxi that are traditional and beautiful and yet really cheap. We're going to have some great food. And near the end of this video, I've got a surprise for you, but you have to watch the entire video in order to get it. So stay tuned. Thank you. Alright folks, good morning. We're here in Wuxi and we're here at Huishan Old Town. More than a thousand years old, built during the Qing Dynasty. We're gonna go inside, have a look, but first I'm gonna introduce you to a friend of mine. Hello! This is Raven. She's from Nanjing. So she's gonna join me and we're gonna explore Huishan Old Town yes. together. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Huishan Old Town, and they have a place where you can sample the Wuxi alcohol here. This is Huangzhou yellow wine, and they ferment it here, and I'm gonna give it a try. First thing in the morning. Cheers, folks. Yeah, hey, it's actually good. It almost tastes like maple syrup. I'll try this Wuxi loco accord. Oh, it's a little bit sweet and um, it, it smells so good. Yeah. So we got right here, it's called Yulan Bing. Uh, one of these is two and a half yuan. I got two of them, so that's five total. It's crispy. It has that fried taste, it's got the meat inside, and it's really juicy in the middle. It's so glutinous, it's stuck to my teeth. <laughs> to warm ourselves up on this cold winter day, Raven and I found a nearby tea shop where we could relax, chat, and sip hot tea. A lot of like, elder people sitting here have a cha hua hui. In these cozy shops, locals take part in what's called cha hua hui, which literally means tea chat meeting. Men and women enjoy each other's company and reminisce about the good old days over a cup of hot tea, sharing stories and enjoying life's simple pleasures. Remember that? Yeah. We were halfway through our green tea when a lively man nearby got our attention. After demonstrating his impressive stretching routine, he shared with us some of his secrets about maintaining youth, even in old age. Did he aim to get climb 70 mountains before 70 years old? Wow. He even just brought out his senior citizen card just to prove that he's older than 60. Because this guy really doesn't look like he's 60 years old. <laughs> This tofu soup, and it looks like there's some black mushrooms in here, little miniature shrimp, scallions. This is only six yuan, this is less than a dollar. The little miniature shrimp definitely dominate the flavor. So I also have some xiaolong bao here, and this was 10 kwai for four, and these are some big xiaolong bao, so 2.5 kwai a piece. So there's gonna be soup inside of here, and it's probably really cool. Uh, uh, <laughs> There's soup inside of here and it's probably really hot, so I gotta be careful. Oh, 
to take 87 going yes. where? Yuan Toju, another scenic spot. It's very famous in Yuxi. Alright, so we're on the 87 bus now. And we're about to go to Yuan Toju. Only two Yuan to ride the bus, so really cheap, but 17 stops away, so it's gonna be a while. Yes. I'm meditating. That's how you kill time while you're waiting for the bus. Do a little workout. <laughs> we just got off the bus and we're here at Nan Changjie. Yeah. And this is a walking street with shops and all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. Come on, let's go check it out. I was looking for the restaurant for our dinner, but seems we are getting lost. One thing I love about China is that around any street corner, you can always count on there being a vendor selling some little snack to tide you over until your next meal. In this case, we spotted a sweet potato vendor. Only four quai for this. Oh man, I'm so hungry. We've been looking around for a restaurant for a really long time in here for some authentic wuxi food and I saw this guy and I just couldn't wait. I had to get a sweet potato. Mm. How's the sweet potato? So good. I'm, I'm starving to death. We found it. Okay, so we stopped at a restaurant here called Yi Qing Yuan. I got some San Xian Mian. So bamboo, mushroom, and uh, tofu in here. Sweet and sour pork on the side. The San Xian Mian is only 10 yuan. And then this uh, sweet and sour pork dish right here, which is a wuxi specialty, is only 13 yuan. Mmm. If you want to know how this tastes, come here and try it yourself. I'm terrible at describing the way that food tastes, all right? You know that. I know that. And the important thing is that you do some traveling. Come out to Wuxi and enjoy some Wuxi food. Come on. So I just finished my delicious dinner here in Nanchangjie. And you know what? I was doing a little bit of shopping because I've been frugal today. So I found this little incense burner here. And this cost 20 kwai. To say thank you for watching this video and for watching our day here in $20 traveling in Wuxi, I'm gonna give away 14 of these incense burners and this same incense right here. All you have to do is go to the Wuxi Facebook page. There should be a link below in the description. Be sure to check out the Wuxi Facebook page for more info on how you can win. So now uh, I think we've done a lot of exploring here. We've eaten a lot of food and uh, I think it's about time we head back to the hostel. Yes. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Alright folks, what's up? Just arrived here at the Wuxi Xinxin Hua She Qinian Lu She. This is probably the cheapest place that you can find here in Wuxi. I looked on hostelworld.com and they didn't have a hostel that was as cheap as this, but I got on the Chinese version of Sea Trip and found this hostel for only 38 yuan a night for a four person bedroom. I'm now here in my bed at the hostel and it's time to get some sleep. This is traveling for $20 a day in Wuxi. Good night. Hey,